Hey, in this video, we're looking at my 12 button keypad that I modified so it only uses one I.O. pin. As you can see, it has three wires. Two of the wires are for five volts, VCC and ground, and the white wire is for an I.O. pin. Now, a typical 12 button keypad needs about seven I.O. pins. Well, I'm building an electronic lock that uses a keypad, and I wanted to use the PIC 12F683 microcontroller. This is an eight pin chip with only six available I.O. pins. Now even if I had seven I.O. pins, I still wouldn't have enough. I would need maybe an additional two or three I.O. pins for what I want in my design. So several weeks ago, I came up with an idea to modify one of my keypads so it would only need one I.O. pin. It's basically a voltage divider that would output a different voltage for each of the 12 buttons and these voltages would feed into one analog I.O. pin. And for every unique voltage, the analog to digital converter would produce a unique value or a range of values. Now this is a pretty simple idea if you understand microcontrollers. So I'm pretty sure that someone out there has already come up with this idea. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of it or thought of it. In my design, I used a total of 13 10K resistors for the modification. Basically, I uh, took apart the keypad and totally redesigned it. I cut traces and added connections uh, to get it set up. Here's the uh, schematic for the modification. This is the 5 volt connection. This is ground and this goes to the analog I.O. pin. I only drew six resistors here. You can insert seven more resistors in series and six buttons. So if you were to press the number one button, it will send the voltage at this point of the uh, voltage divider to the analog I.O. pin. If you were to press the star button here, it would send the voltage at this point of the voltage divider to the analog I.O. pin. So each button will send a different voltage to the analog I.O. pin. Next, I wrote a simple program and burned it into the microcontroller. Note that I added a buzzer for audio feedback. It's to let me know when the program recognizes the press of a button. If you look at this circuit, it's kind of amazing because I have an LCD display and a 12 button keypad connected to an 8 pin microcontroller. And in many cases, you'll find an LCD screen like this that requires 12 connections and the keypad would require about seven connections. So you would need a microcontroller that has over 19 IO pins. So being able to do this, to me, it's kind of amazing. The LCD display that I'm using requires only one I.O. pin, and it's sold by Parallax. I'm not sure if they still sell it. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with the performance. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos, and have a great day.